Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I apologize for the uh, the voice sounding like shit. It's because I feel like shit. So uh, I might just have to, you know, bear with me here. Anywho, what we got here today is the MIG switch and the MIG switch dumper. I don't know if you guys are maybe not tracking this, but it's it's the way that you can actually make a, a, a secure copy of your uh, physical games. Now, a lot of people have had the concern of, well, I have my physical library of games, but what if something happens to it? Like, for example, I'm moving soon. What do you do if you lose that? Well, you're kind of screwed. And if you're like me, where you have to leave the stuff with movers, then it's very, very concerning. Uh, so yeah, the way to actually make sure that you can have a secure copy of your games and play it, should the physical copy actually get broken, um, then you can get this thing called a MIG switch. You put a SD card in there, and it, it can hold many games at a time. The only pain in the ass is you have to click it in and out of the... Uh, the switch game insert I can't remember what that is actually called the inject eject section uh, so pretty much what you do is you'll make a game rips folder of your own games the ones that you purchase don't do it to other people because if, if you have a copy of this and you're playing online and then somebody goes to play their actual game online at the same time they're gonna get banned and you probably will too so I don't recommend you guys do that. Make sure it's completely offline. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, offline means Wi-Fi disabled. Probably just put it in airplane mode. But I'm losing my freaking mind because I'm sick. Sorry. Uh, Lego Star Wars. This was the new game. Not new game, but it's one of the games I have that I haven't put in uh, or made a game save file for yet. So what we do is we actually copy the original file that pops up with the make switch dumper when you plug the USB in and put the, uh, the game cartridge in the dumper. It opens it up to what it actually looks like in, that, uh, in its data file. So this is the game. This is the game file. And then these are just extra data files. The best way to do it is just copy these four files over to uh, the game file that you're making and then do the XCI format ROM. Reason being is because this one's massive and it actually takes a decent bit of time for it to copy over. These copy over immediately and I've noticed that there's a bit of a, a bottleneck or something that takes place when it's trying to fit in these little files. I don't know why it does that but it'll oftentimes give you errors. But that's, uh, that's pretty much all you guys need to do. Make sure everything's followed uh, step by step properly and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.